he said to me that before he passed, right? Before he died, meaning before that accident even happened, he always told his son that he should have married you. Marlena, where are you from? Missouri. Missouri, I'm glad that you're here. So first of all, there's a couple of souls that I'm hearing from, but there's a soul that's coming through that I keep hearing past of, it looks like a brain injury to me here in this world. My ex-boyfriend, his father had brain injury before he died. Okay. Um, he was on a motorcycle. Hello, pay attention. Please know that soul is here. Because right away, you can understand that even though that you might be separated, I mean, that you're not with that person anymore, they can still come through. And okay. what's crazy is he keeps telling me he had, they were trying for brain surgery. He keeps telling me he had like a swelling of the head yes. here in this world. Is it that true? Bad. Please know that soul is here. Okay. And please know that that soul is trying to come through because I got to be honest with you. He loved you here in this world when I'm connecting with him. Yeah. And even though that was your, what, what, that, that would have been like your father-in-law here in the physical yeah. world. It's crazy because he tells me that he was hanging on here in the physical world. They like, I keep seeing life support, life support. So they either put on life support. Oh, I get it. I get it. All right. Now I understand. Thank you. I'm just telling, thank you to him. Because you understand as a medium, they don't come through in the same way that we talk, right? They don't come through and say, oh, Matt, can you please tell her I was laid up for six months? I had this happen, this happen, this happen. They'll come through and show me what had actually happened before their passing. And he just said to me about brain surgery that he was going through. Not only would he not been able to walk, it's almost like when somebody has a stroke, he showed yes. me like he would have been paralyzed here. So he even though having he strokes while he was laying on life support. So he had strokes while he was on life support after the brain surgery. Yeah. That would be why, because you know, his soul is coming through. This is what I mean, where I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about or what I'm saying. I have to tell you what they're telling me. Cause first he was telling me brain surgeries. Then he was telling me strokes. Then he was talking about having to be in a wheelchair. And he just said to me when I'm connecting with him, he, his soul, okay. Made the decision to go to the other side. Okay. Because he says to me, not even if I were to survive, I would have never been able to be the same person that I was before. So know that he's coming through because he tells me that everybody came to see him. He's thinking for everyone yeah. to come to see him from near and far. I see like literally 30 people lined up outside the, outside the hospital to come in yeah. to see him and the prayers that were done because I see they were praying that he, he, that the surgery would have been successful. I see that they were praying that he was going to make it out of this. I see all of these things. But he wants to thank everybody for the way that they let him go to the other side. That's so important. And he also wants to say that he's sorry for what happened between you and his son here in this world. Thank you. Because this is what's so amazing and why sometimes, I don't want to say other loved ones because that's not really the right way to say it. Why sometimes other loved ones will come through for you. We're just going to say it that way. Because you truly loved his son here in the physical world. And he keeps saying to me, Matt, before he died, the one thing that he really wanted was him, you and his son to be together. And you know, I'm going to tell you something. Now I know why he's here. Makes perfect sense. He said to me that before he passed, right? Before he died, meaning before that accident even happened, he always told his son that he should have married you. He used to always tell him that. Oh, we did. You know about yeah. that. Yeah. Because I keep hearing him saying, you need to marry that girl. You need to marry that girl. If you don't marry that girl you're making a mistake. And right. do you know that he tells me that when he died, he really was hoping that because of what happened to him, it would have changed his son's eyes. It would have changed his son's perspective. It would have changed his son's way of life. So he tells me, which is so interesting. So your, your um, ex-boyfriend is still alive here in this world? Yes, yes. He tells me though, even though he's still alive, you still have so much guilt over that relationship and over him. Do you know oh, his father's I'm here and telling you and telling you, don't live with that. Don't live with that. Don't live with that. He says to me, Matt, I used to tell, he says, and he calls him that boy, even though it's his son. He goes, I used to tell that boy. He did. There ain't <laughs> nobody who's going to take care of you the way that she is. There ain't nobody who's going to put up with your shit the way that she did. Yeah. So please yeah. know that this is his message to you. Not a message to his son. Not a Thanks. message to really anybody else but you. Because he says to, to me that you never let him down. You never let him down and you never let his son down. So I don't know. This is what happens. And sometimes we, we, when souls leave this world, like you lost him, he would have been your father-in-law, right? You're holding on to such hurt and such pain and such guilt, right? Yeah. And is there yeah. a part of you that still says 
I hope he knows that I would have taken care of his son. I hope he knows that I would yes. have done this or I would have done that. Absolutely. This is where unfinished business comes in. You, he, you know, you probably thought that he just passed on and didn't think twice about you on the other side, but he did. Right. <laughs> and he, he's coming through to let you know not to be upset, not to be, not to be mad, not to be nervous, but to know that he's here and that he's with you. So he he could hear us all, perhaps. Oh, absolutely! He can hear you right now. That's why, <laughs> listen. When you're here, I if, if you weren't here today, he wouldn't be here today. This would right. just be a quiet office, right? And I love it when you guys <laughs> leave because when you guys leave, what's so cool is that um, your loved ones leave with you. So know that it's his way of just bringing that through. And here's what's also interesting as well, which I'm not able, I'm not, not really understanding. Did his you son think you just were, text me? What? His son just texted me. Shut the hell up. <laughs> That's crazy. So his son, your ex, just texted you at this very moment. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Listen, there are no such things as uh, coincidences, but there are divine signs from your loved ones. His father is here to tell you that it's okay for you to live your life and to separate that chapter so you can start living a new one. That's what That's something about. I've been fighting with mentally for a while. Well, this is why loved ones show up, right? And the only one that, like, for example, it could have been someone from your end of the family, right? But the mm -hmm. thing is that the only one that's going to be able to help you heal today and to be able to make you, to be able to open your eyes for you to be able to open this next chapter and open this new door is his father. And that's why his father is here. Because, you. you know, what I loved about this man is that sometimes here in this world, we keep our mouths shut. We don't say things, right? Uh -huh. And meaning that we let our children live our live their lives and so on and so forth. But what I love about this man is the fact that he came through and said that before he died, while he was still, you know, before anything happened, while he was still alive, he told his son every day what he wanted from him, the choices that he wanted him to make, the choices that he hoped he would make. So when he did pass away, even though it was tragic and unexpected, his son already knew what his father was hoping for with him. Right. And now he's coming through to let you know that as well. That's awesome.